Hat pants, yes! <laughs> We're back to play some more on this little modded Minecraft server here. I've got some ideals to do a bit of building, and we've updated the version of my mod that's on the server. It's now Silence Gems version 0.7, which has customizable tools or an early version of it. Uh, I don't think I've uploaded this to my media fire folder yet. I have a link in the description of all my Minecraft videos where uh, it goes to a folder on my media fire account that has builds of my mod. I don't upload them unless I feel that they're relatively stable and bug free, so they should be all safe to use. Don't have the customizable tools yet, but let me show you what I've created. You can't customize the swords yet, but this is a pickaxe. It was originally this one, the yellow one. And this is what it is now. It's got uh, ruby and eye light on the head, black wool on the handle, and I can't remember if that's, uh, I think that's topaz on the bottom there. Here's an axe I just made. It's, uh, I haven't changed out any of the head. It's just emerald. Uh, I think I put a garnet on the bottom, red wool. I think that looks pretty good. Here's my shovel. It was originally eye light. I changed it out for sapphire and emerald on the head and come on get back up there and i think that's also garnet on the bottom and it's got yellow wool not sure what i think of that kind of looks like someone chewed on the handle and that's all i've got uh, i made a torch bandolier these are pretty cool they store lots of torches and you can place them with the pickaxe or any other tool so i could put it after the axe if i wanted to that will suck the torches back up every once in a while Okay, so I guess I could give a little tour of what's been going on. That up there is what I'm working on. We'll get there in a minute. I guess I could show off what my cousin has done. He's been building underground mostly. And chickens are doing pretty good. Uh, I think they do create a bit of lag on the server, unfortunately. With all their egg laying and stuff. Okay, so I don't know why, but he's got, uh, well, actually it looks like not everything is the carpenter's blocks anymore. I don't know why he was doing that exactly, but he's got uh, all the walls and floors changed out. I think it looks pretty nice. I'm not 100% sure about the redstone bricks. I think they're a little bright, but uh, it's not bad. Hmm. Don't think anything has really changed in here too much. Oh, my frame rate it is so bad right now. Let's see what's in here. Uh, I don't know. Why is that cable painted? Hmm. Strange. I kind of disagree with how he completely buries all the cabling and stuff. I like to have a nice ac uh, little access way to get to it. Uh, this room's pretty much the same, except for the tanks of milk. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, did that? Oh, that's interesting. It opens both doors at once. This area, he said he was originally going to uh, do... I think it was witchery and some other magic type mods and these chairs are kind of funny unfortunately sitting is temporarily disabled please stand by <laughs> okay and close those doors Let's see do these doors also open in unison yes that's that's pretty cool actually okay and oh it's got a nice little few lines of sugar cane here not the most efficient way to plant it, but definitely easiest to harvest. Okay, let's just fly up the ladder here. Still only got flight one on this gem. I could probably afford to upgrade it. I mean, we're doing pretty good on resources overall. Tree farm, I change out the saplings for oak and there is a sludge boiler here now 
And uh, still putting stuff in the semi chest here, which apparently has gotten a big storage drive up update. That's a lot of apples in there. Okay, so this is what I've been working on. I was kind of thinking of building something like a house, and so far I've got the floor laid out kind of where I want rooms to be, and sorry, I've got an itchy nose. Don't know why. And I want to use a lot of wood on this build uh, just because that's something I don't normally do. And I'm going with... Uh, how do I describe it? It's like everything I do is a 3x3. Three three. You can see like right here is a 3x3, three three. so is here and here. All the rooms are made out of 3x3 three three blocks, so it all lines up pretty nicely. The pad is something like 33x33. 33 33. And I've got a staircase here that will go up to another floor. So I want to work on the exterior a little bit here, and of course it is nighttime. Should I leave it nighttime, or should I go sleep? I think I should just leave it alone. Doing pretty good on food on the server. I got these sugar cookies. These are from my mod. They're pretty cool. Uh, when you eat them, they give you swiftness and haste, and you can eat them even if you're not hungry. Okay, and the way we have the server set up, it gives you 45 seconds. I believe 30 is the default. And these blocks here are cobblestone that have been modified with the chisel from the chisel mod. You put blocks in here, and then you can select any of these, use it like that. It doesn't use up any durability on the chisel. To use up durability, you have to actually right-click on blocks, which I don't want to do because that... That system up. Okay, and let's get these extra food items out of here for now. I'm kind of curious of about how well some of these work, so let's do that. Okay, so let's try to do a little bit on the exterior here. And I'm not sure... I don't think I should do all wood, but... I've actually got an image open on my other monitor over there of a pretty cool looking house. It looks like it's got logs for support pillars on the columns. Or, or for like, what am I saying? Logs like support pillars. Kind of like this in a way. And then some of them are one block away from the overall wall. The wall has a mixture of cobblestone, logs, and planks. Might try to do something kind of similar there. I'm not sure. Okay, so what I did over here on this corner is I made a 2x2 two two pillar. So I might try uh, that on all the corners. I'm not sure. So how do I want to do this exactly? Okay, so I've got plenty of logs to work with. So let's see... How about we just start placing some blocks? Come over here like this. I guess I'll just go all the way across. This part down here is not final necessarily. Okay, and let's go ahead and build the pillar over here just so I don't get confused. Yeah, frame rate's really bad, and I don't know why. Uh, I wonder if it has something to do with that weather mod that makes the water all wavy. If that's client side, I might actually remove that. Oh, but I don't think it is. Hmm. Okay, so that is way too much space in between the pillars, so how can I divide this up? Okay. So, so we got one group of three there, there, there. Hmm. 
Maybe in the middle of this group. It's kind of a weird spacing, though, if I do that. Hmm. How many blocks is this exactly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's, that's nine blocks. Okay, yeah, and there was four on each side before. Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of tough for me to decide what I want to do. What if we did like a double pillar like this? That would there would be three block spaces. I don't know where the skeleton is. Probably below me. Okay, so how does that look? Yeah, he was. Um, I might be okay. I don't know. Uh, I think I might actually need a lot more space to work with than that. Hmm, and the problem is, with the way I have this particular room laid out, it's not going to actually be touching the wall, so maybe I should extend this room out a bit so that it is. Whoops. Give me some more of those, please. Okay, and we'll need to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So these rooms are very long now, that's okay. Maybe I could split them up if they're, they're too big for whatever I decide to do with them. Okay, so we could have a window here now. Hmm. I wonder if maybe I should move the floor over here back and extend the room in that way so it's kind of a weird L shape. That way it's along the full length of the wall. Yeah, that might be nice. See if there's anything I can do about my frame rate really quickly here. Render distance normal. Does that help? Uh, a little bit. Hi, Creeper. Hmm. So I'm not really happy with the way this entrance way looks hmm. if I change that it won't line up correctly anymore Uh, let's get rid of some of the stuff right here. If 
frame rate's still a little choppy. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, V-Sync is off. Set to max FPS. Uh, field of view is 80. Hmm. Graphics fast. Uh, that helped. What if I move the pillar there, but then that's three blocks and hmm. it's just not going to line up well on this side no matter what I do. Okay, well let's try not to worry about that for now and work on something a little bit different here. So let's do something like that and maybe try to copy that style I saw a little bit better. So let's try not to worry too much about... Uh, no. And then there would have to be another one here. Yeah. Oh, that would look just way too weird. Hmm. Maybe if we got rid of the two by two pillar. That one's going to have to get moved back if I do that. Hmm. No, that's still not quite right. We get rid of their brain sounds. There we go. So let's get rid of these. Might be okay for that corner. What if we 
consider how this is laid out with respect to the interior rather than the exterior. So for example, there will be a wall here, so let's not worry about that stuff over there. That would be a five wide window. Okay, and from the outside I think that'd be okay. Let's see how this hot dog does. Well, that did at least four. Okay, so let's build this up a little bit. And... How high? Did something wrong. Maybe like this. Hmm. What if we also change these out? How does that look? About the same either way. I'll go with this style. So how do we want to do the door and connect it is the next question. This is going to be the, the main entrance right here. What if I just do that? Mm, looks a little strange. How about something like that? Mm, that might be okay. What if we change these out for the cobblestone as well? Uh, maybe. I'm surprised nothing has attacked me recently. It's kind of strange. If I put some planks across like that, how does that look? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Not bad. And I'm not sure if I want to keep these as planks or not. I may want to do something like this. Hmm, maybe. Okay, so let's mirror this pattern on the other side, I guess. Or, whoa! That doesn't seem right. What if we change this out for cobblestone? Uh, that lines up really weird. Hmm. Oh, I see the problem. How can I fix that? Oh, well, the wall would actually need to be one more back here anyway, so let's move all this stuff. Okay, how 
How's that look? Lines up perfectly on both sides. And the interior wall would actually be here, wouldn't it? And wrap around like that. Hmm. That leaves a lot less space in the interior than I was hoping there would be. I was hoping for some space in the middle here to run wires and stuff in case I needed that. But that may not work out quite like I had planned. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up the other side. Okay, I think that's looking uh, pretty good. It's not terrible. It's not great either, but it'll work. Alright, so I think I've probably recorded enough on this episode for now. I'll probably work on this more tomorrow. For now, I really need to get to bed. It is so late right now. Well, I guess it uh, could be a lot worse, but... Oh, that tree farm's probably what's causing my frame rate lag. Those are really bad on your frame rate. Alright, so I guess I'll head back over to the tower for now, and probably should have slept since it's night time. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. I don't know if it was any good or not, but if you enjoyed it, uh, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Uh, this is not a regular series for me, but I do have another regular Minecraft series. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video as well. What? Did that rain seriously just come back? You jerk. Okay, subscribe, leave a like, all that stuff. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Is that a creeper spider jockey? No.